hi guys um start this here with me my name is ifi artistry welcome back to my channel if this is your first time you are always welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for always coming here okay guys so first of all i started with slicking back her hair okay yeah first of all i cleaned the hair that's not here and then i begin to you know like slick back the hair with my got to be uh glue uh, no got to be spray and um the um, my hand dryer and all that okay guys so as i always say like i'm not a pro i'm just like elena like you guys <laughs> yeah okay guys so uh after doing that slicking back the hair the next thing i did was to like you know like put the her wig on top of her hair and try to make um the necessary adjustments and like you know like keep it very well so that it becomes so key and all that so when i've placed it very well i use this my hot comb brush like I've, it has been plucked for a while and it's already hot so i just use it to you know like comb it back to just slick it back so it will give me speedy flyaways will give me space and i'm going to see clearly where i'm walking okay guys so the next thing i'm going to do is to start marking the you know like her hairlines where i'm going to be placing the glue so like i don't just like mark the hairlines from the place i uh from the place the hairs are going to be I, like i leave at least just few hairs forward because you know with the placement of hair you wouldn't want to come and start from the beginning to place this glue because if you mess up and then the glue is you know like way uh, in front of where the hair is 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 going to be a mess up and all that so you don't want it so you want to place the glue at least some inches back so that's um if the, if afterwards the hair everything is not like in line the there's still some hairs out you can go back and you know like place your glue okay guys so one thing that i'm going to do is like place like small small like dots of this glue i'm not going to be doing it too much this placement is just like tiny and when i place i'm going to let it dry and clear out before i begin to apply again you can see the second side so i'm like this is my second coating so when i uh, place it there i'm going to like let it dry up before i begin to you know place again i think this second coating i'm doing is a little too much because like i normally go with like small small dots so before i go in again this is the third one so i'm just going to allow it to cool and dry and you know like clear all this white whitish glue stuff so i'm going to let it clear and become like very very you know clear before i begin to you know go on and place another one and then when i place i'm going to still spread and then let it dry okay guys so after doing this um third coating i just allowed it to clear as you can see like it's already very clear and then i place the hair back i'm going to stretch the hair make to make sure that yeah is way in front of that the line of the place i place this glue okay i don't want it the same place no i want it above it like i mean in front of it or whatever okay guys so after that i'm going to use my comb and then you know like press it down on the hair you know like i'm just trying to make this adjustment to make sure that the hair is in front and all that yeah so that the glue is not going to be in the front while the hair is at the back that is not going to be the, the the right thing because of course i measured this i have to make sure that everything is okay so after like using my comb to you know like press it down i use the hot comb to still push it back and all that so i made the adjustment and i made sure everything is okay so the next thing i did is to the next thing i did is to tie the hair with the band you know like just tie it to secure mm -hmm. it at least for now i'm now going to like you know wait for a while and then i lose the band and i begin to cut the lace okay so that is just it i'm going to be cutting this lace in a zigzag motion you can see how my hand is moving just like do not cut the lace in a straight line please be in a zigzag so that it's not going to be a straight up line and all that okay guys so remember when i said that i'm going to leave some lines or some strands of hair in the front so after that i'm going to pull up the net and then those strands that i didn't fix or whatever i have to now go back and begin to place the glue there so that i'm going to cover one of the reason why we do this is to make sure that um you don't have excess glue in the front of course if you're going to do her makeup or if she's going to wear makeup at the end of the day you wouldn't want to leave glue like in the front it's going to like mess up with the makeup please hairstylist be aware of this if you're a beginner hairstylist please do not go and place glue and 
is going to is above or in the front and the glue is in the front and the hair is at the back oh, no don't do that it's going to really mess up the, the makeup and everything you can see the one pulling up the i'm pulling up the net and then you know like just when i pull it up i place this glue and i you know like make sure i you know like spread it very well so after that i just i have to now go back and start pressing the hairs down like press them down you know like yeah so that is it i just make sure that everything is cool so when i place it i make sure it dries up before i begin to you know like pressing it down and all that okay guys so after afterwards she wanted this uh, little c curve pattern and all that and yeah i have to give it to her so i packed her, her hair in this c curve shape and then you know like i'm just trying to style and do like the necessary things at least the little way i learned it yeah so i'm just like doing that so after using my comb to you know like like move everything back first of all like i have to move everything back i moved all the hair back so that i can tie because i'm going to be styling it with this tying like when i tie it then i'm going to style so i wouldn't want to go and start styling the hair when um like the flyaways is everywhere and all that so at the end of that i felt like the tying i didn't really tie it very well so i have to just go back and secure the front more because like of course the clients want to use this hair for a very long time and all that so after that i placed the heat protector on the spray on the hair of course i've pressed that before anyway because i want to curl the hair now so i start i started with coiling the front hair first so i just that just me coiling the hair with my coiler I started with the front and then you know like I just coil the front when I remove I use my clip and you know like hold it down I bring the second one I coil and that is it guys like basically nothing serious and nothing much and when I coil I use my clip and still hold it down and I'm going to do the same until like I'm done coiling the whole hair and that is it guys like nothing serious nothing much okay guys so um that is it i'm just going to like keep doing that and before you know it i was done coiling all the whole hairs i begin to lose and when i begin to lose i begin to equally comb them uh, yeah so um that is it the front hair like is not that long so it's not that long and i'm going to just now use my comb and you know like comb it down so that it's going to you know like come together and everything is going to be fine i probably lose the band and you know that is it everything was cool everything was nice okay guys so this is me just you know like combing and i styled and everything was okay i know you love it see you next time bye